Bear's old radio doesn't work anymore? Stupid old thing. Then stay tuned, because today I'm going to show you how to replace a radio in your car. Now our modern radios, CD players, MP3 players are so cheap there's no sense attempting to get your old one fixed. I've had customers who wanted the original radios fixed, some of them spent hundreds of dollars, and they end up with a radio that doesn't even work as good as this $59 one. Now to get the radio out of the way, first you got to get the covers off. In this case, the bottom here just snaps off, and then there's two little Phillips screws you take off for the front cover. So you remove them both, then get a skinny little screwdriver like this to take the front off. Because the top part here is real tight, you get the screwdriver and you pry it off. Be careful not to break anything off, but eventually you'll be able to pry the whole thing out and pull it out. And out it comes. Now this radio just has two giant screws here holding it in place, so we'll take them off. Off they come. Then the whole radio assembly just pulls right out. And then comes the tricky part, you gotta hook all the wires up. Now you can see the wires here are on a clip, you squeeze it, and all the wires come off. And the new radio comes with the same type of clip with all the wires, you just have to match them up. And just be happy that the box has all the wires and where they go. And in this case we're extremely lucky, because the connector for the new radio is the same as the connector from the old radio, snaps right in. So in this case we won't have to rewire anything. But if you're not lucky, they come with directions. The red wire is the ignition when you turn the key on, it sends power to the radio. The yellow wire is the battery wire that goes direct from the battery and has power all the time to keep memory in the radio. It's not that complicated, but in the case of a car like this that has four speakers, there's then eight speaker wires, so it takes a little bit of time. Then you get the bracket from the old radio, slip the new radio into the bracket, and screw it in on the sides. If you look closely, you'll see there's two screws on each side that you screw in. You just screw them in tight. Ah, then you get the antenna wire and plug that in, and snap in the main wiring harness. Then we just slip the whole assembly back into a hole and bolt up the sides. Put them in nice and tight so the radio doesn't rattle. Then pop the cover back on, snap it in place, and screw it in. Then pop the gear shift lever cover back in. Now comes a moment of truth. We'll turn on the key and see if it works. Three, two, one. It's coming on. And here we go. Music. Not bad for a $50 radio. So the next time your old radio craps out, why not replace it yourself? And remember, if you have any car questions, just visit ScottyKilmer.com.